welcome back. Okay, so we're going to be using our, our Vallejo Model Air Steel 71.065 and that is going to be our paint chipping. So I've not used this yet, so I'm going to give it a good shake and we're going to uh, try it out. Oh, it's quite shiny. <laughs> Okay, so we'll just add that to the others. There's actually quite a few paints that have been used in this whole piece. Okay, so let's uh, just catch up with that. So we've already laid down our base areas uh, for our paint chipping. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to paint inside. Just a little bit of paint, just to break it up. So what this does is, this will give us a paint chipping effect and, and we do the same just there as well so you can see it all starting to form quite nicely because we want him to look a little bit of battle we want a little bit of battle damage on him not too much but just enough to sort of give him a little bit of a character gives him some characteristics just so we can all sort of say, you know, that guy's been through the wars. Um, you know, this is very sort of basic painting. These are, if I can do this guys, you can do it. And we've talked about this before and it gives it a really beautiful end finish. If you just sort of add a little bit here and there. So we've got to go up to about there. And we need to, to follow that around as well. Put a bit here. And there. Okay, so let's just focus that for a second. It's such a bright red, it really is, it's so beautiful. So you've got like a kind of an orangey and I'm very sure that when I was speaking to an orc painter nerd he said he uses the same colour for his blood angels um, but it's just astonishing. Okay so we've gone round, we've also cleaned up areas that we've gone over and uh, we've also sort of just highlighted a little bit here and there so I'm just going to add the finishing touches um, there we go on here and we're going to do the same on the other side and we're just going to follow that down and around like so just taking off the little bits of edges um, I'm not a big fan of the um, highlighting edges, the lining the edges and stuff like that um, when you do your marines and stuff, I just think it looks really tacky sometimes, but um, you know, professionally done, it does look good, but I do like paint chipping let me just follow that scratch on the shoulder, on the shoulder, on the leg there, sorry I do like paint chipping effects, I do think they look absolutely amazing on minis okay so I'm going to give this a quick look over, make sure that I haven't missed anything my base coats are all on I'm very, very happy with the way this is turning out. Um, we're now going to move on to the wash, which is the most exciting part of the mini. I'll speak to you guys later. Hi guys, welcome back. So, we're now moving on to the washes, and we're going to be using for this um, uh, the black um, shade and the umble shade and these are 73201 for the black shade and 73.203 for the umber shade now you've got to mix these two together I've diluted it slightly but not too much uh, I've done a 50-50 mix but then I added two drops of water to it um, and it's still quite thick so we'll see how that goes um, this is it <clears throat> this is where we now wash the entire figure let's go for it Oh, it's nice straight away it's got a a nice mix and don't be afraid to smother this you know my policy give it a complete bath in the wash 
because you can take it away. And just get it all around there, over the face. Really go to town with it. You look at all the gaps as well, because we're going to be taking away very, very soon. So this is a nice, it's got quite a nice feel to it as well when you're pasting it on. Yeah, it's surprising actually that uh, I'm going for corn. It's an absolutely shocker, an absolute shocker. Uh, I always play the good guys in games and uh, uh, this is quite interesting because I'm not really a sort of chaos fan but I saw this mini and when we were discussing it with hazard syndrome and I've talked to all paint and nerd about it that uh, this is definitely <laughs> a very cool mini and it is one of my favorites I've got to say and you notice I haven't done the cloak yet I'm saving the cloak till last because I need to get all the detail on this mini first done and then we'll move on to the cloak and just make sure you've got it everywhere it gives it a very dirty look but straight away it's really making um, and unifying everything together. That's pretty much what we want to do with it. We need to find a way to unify all the colours. And it does give it a nice... Oh, sorry, it's all blurred out for you, I do apologise. It has given it straight away, using those two colours together, a very dirty, muddy look. You know me, I do like that look. I do, <laughs> I do it pretty much on everything. Um, except the custodians I'm building at the moment. Okay, we're nearly there. Uh, just make sure you've got every area done. Because this will also hide a lot of your sins. Little mistakes that you've made. Always remember that. Let's get it in there. There's so many little fine little pieces in here as well. Um, well, let's just make sure we've covered it. Yes, we have. Put your brush in the wash, just leave that in there, so your little wash pot. Okay, so we're going to take our cotton buds, what we're going to do is we're just going to roll up because we want it to catch it into the face. And we're going to do the same again, roll up just lightly, not too hard. God, I've got to say, I am falling in love with Vallejo products. These are just astounding. And these are really lovely. Okay, and the same again. Just roll up on it, not too much. Don't push it down. Just let, it, let the cotton bud roll over the top, just taking away what we need. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. 
Okay, so <clears throat> let's take a little look at this. Let's go close up. So straight away, it's uniforming all the colours. It's less, <clears throat> excuse me, it's less brighter. It's, it's muted it down, which we want to do, and it's starting to fill in the gaps for our shading. And that's what a good shade should do. It should highlight, it should bring out the detail and, and create shadow. So I'm very, very happy with that. I'm just going to take away a little bit more, just off the leg. And it's coming on nicely. Now I haven't put the cloak on. I'm saving that till last because I want to get all the detail on the main model done. Um, but you, I think you'll agree the overall effect that this has given it, and this is just all Vallejo, um, is just astonishing. Absolutely astonishing. Okay guys, I'll see you in a second. Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so where are we with this? So we've let the, the wash dry and if I just bring that closer, we've let the wash dry now and it's created such a beautiful effect. I am blown away by this mini. Um, well, to be fair, I should be fair. I'm blown away by the model air pipes. I mean, I am excited, okay? Just very excited. And uh, that's not just for show, that is just basically, I'm just astonished astonished by the, the effect that they create. Okay, so while I was waiting for my battery to recharge, um, I went in and highlighted. So if I just come in a little bit closer, if I can get that to, there we go. So I've highlighted um, around the edges here and here, and I've used, uh, which is this paint down here, which is the steel, and that's Vallejo uh, model air and I've gone around the brass as well and I've used uh, bright brass just to highlight uh, the edging of the brass around the sides around the sides there um, also I've added this in and originally this was underslung there hanging down because this arm is raised up in uh, on the mini um, but I've just switched it around so it dangles from the front so it looks like it's holding a chain and the axe is in his hand in the front there. Um, I've highlighted the gold on there as well and I've also highlighted the brown that we had on there. Um, so the next step is to work on this leg here, the gold here, and um, we are then ready to add the cloak and uh, if we switch that around so you can have a look it's a beautiful, rich red. And after talking to uh, Alt Painter Nerd last night, I mean, I've got to say, I, I agree with him wholeheartedly. It is amazing. Such a lovely colour. And uh, I think it helps having a really nice mini to play around with as well. So we're going to now highlight um, the gold on the leg, and then we'll be working on the browns after that. So I'll see you in a second. Hi, guys. Welcome back. So... We've highlighted our golds, and uh, we just get a nice little focus there. So we've highlighted all the golds that we want to highlight, and we've gone over areas and just brought them out a little bit. I mean, it looks so much nicer now. And now we're going to play around with our browns. So we've got all these skulls, and the skulls look absolutely astonishing. Now, what I don't want to do is, um, it really helps that it's a really great mini as well. Um, but the wash, my God. Uh, I'm excited. See how I get excited by it all? Okay, so look, what we're going to do now is we're going to go in and we're just going to highlight the skulls, and that's all we're going to do. And we're not going to go over too, overboard with it, we're just going to highlight it a little bit. So let's have a look. And remember, this is all model air, so it's nice and thin. Um, and so, you know, you haven't got to go too mad with it, you haven't got to layer it on, because it pretty much does it all for you. So let's look at that. So we're going to just highlight our browns just where we need to. Helps if you can see it. Actually, let's move these so it doesn't focus. So we're just going to highlight, highlight the areas that we need to 
just to bring it out a bit more. And the idea is to create an idea of depth and bits of shadow. And the same around the eyes. So all we're doing is just bringing those skulls out a bit. If you can see that there, there we go. We're just highlighting them. Same with any bone section. So I'm going to complete that. And then what we'll do is we'll come back afterwards and we'll have a look how that looks. And we've got to also highlight the tabard uh, loincloth area. And uh, we'll also go in afterwards and look at silver to get all those little studs down on the belt. Okay, guys, so I'll see you in a second.